think of this green thing as a stationary point. From this point, say you're running towards the right at the speed of 10 km per hour. This point is stationary and you are running towards the right at some speed. How far from this point will you be after one hour? I am asking you a simple question. This point is stationary and you are running towards the right at a speed of 10 km per hour. Where will you be after one hour? You will be somewhere here 10 km away from the starting point. When it comes to speed, this is the concept we are used to. We relate our position to a stationary point. Here, every hour, we will keep moving 10 km further away from this point. And that's why we say that the speed is 10 km per hour relative to this stationary object. But let's think of another situation. Take this stationary point. From this point, A travels at the speed of 5 km per hour to the right. And B travels in the same direction at the speed of 10 km per hour. Both leave the starting point at the same time. Now I ask you another question. What is the speed of B relative to A? You are not asked for the speed of B relative to the stationary point. You are asked for the speed of B relative to A. Let's zoom out to make some space here. To know the relative speed, let's look at their positions after one hour. Don't forget, they leave at the same time. So A will be somewhere here, 5 km away from the starting point. That's because A travels at 5 km per hour. And as B travels at 10 km per hour, it will be somewhere here, 10 km away from the starting point. Now I had asked you the speed of B relative to A. So we have to find the distance between A and B after the first hour. If this distance is 10 and this one is 5, the distance in between will be 5 km. What does this tell us? It tells us that the distance between them has increased by 5 km after one hour. If they travel for one more hour, the distance between them will increase by 5 more kilometers. It will be 10 kilometers. So we say that the speed of B relative to A is 5 kilometers per hour. The gap between them increases by 5 kilometers every hour. And how did we get this 5? It is the difference of the speeds of B and A. It is 10 minus 5 kilometers per hour. If two bodies leave at the same time and are traveling in the same direction, then the relative speed will be the difference of their individual speeds. To understand the first case, imagine you're seated on the back seat of a car and you see this stationary object. When you start moving at 10 km per hour, you see that the distance between you and that object is increasing. And to understand the second case, imagine you're in the back seat of the car and there is a car right next to you. Now both start moving at the same time. You move at 10 km per hour and the other car moves at 5 km per hour. The distance between your car and the other one is increasing, yes, but at a slower rate as compared to the previous case. And that is why the relative speed is lower in the second case. You are moving away from a car at a slower rate as compared to the rate at which you are moving away from the stationary object. But what if the two cars are moving in the opposite directions? Let's see. This is the green stationary point. Car A moves towards the left at the speed of 5 km per hour and car B moves towards the right at the speed of 10 km per hour and both cars leave at the same time. What will be the relative speed here? Where will the cars be after one hour? Let this be the starting point. The speeds are 5 and 10 km per hour. So car A will be somewhere here 5 km away from the starting point and B will be here 10 km away from the starting point. What is the distance between them after one hour? It's 15 kilometers. The distance between them increases at the rate of 15 kilometers per hour. That's the relative speed. Every hour, the distance between them will increase by 15 kilometers. But there is another case of cars moving in opposite directions. Assume that cars A and B are 40 kilometers apart. Car A moves towards right at the speed of 5 kilometers per hour and car B moves left at the speed of 10 km per hour. They are moving towards each other, but it's still opposite directions. What is the relative speed here? What do you think? To know the answer, let's see their positions after one hour. This is the original distance which is 40 km. After one hour, 
car A will be here 5 kilometers away from this point and car B will be here 10 kilometers away from this point. What happened here? An hour ago the distance between A and B was 40 kilometers. What's the distance between them now? The total is 40 minus 5 minus 10 will give us 25 kilometers. It was 40 initially and is 25 after 1 hour. The distance between them reduced by 15 kilometers. 40 minus 25 is 15 kilometers. And that is why the relative speed here will also be 15 kilometers per hour. How do we get this 15? It is the sum of the individual speeds. 10 plus 5 kilometers per hour. So if two things start at the same time and move in the same direction, the relative speed will be the difference of the individual speeds. And if they start at the same time and move in the opposite directions, the relative speed will be the sum of the individual speeds. In the next few sessions, we will look at examples based on the concept of relative speed.